Bonjour, comment ça va? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to do lesson 11 of this textbook, G. Moshe, the Millennium Edition, Code along with the series of Zephon Cells, Volume 2, recommended by CBSC Board, published by Google Publishers, Asher Thriever, Chapter 1 to 17 for Class 11th, and Chapter 18 to 30th for Class 12th, CBSC Friends. So, we have done Cultural Assemblies of your portion from chapter number 1 to chapter number 10. All those videos are present in the playlist titled Geomoja Volume 2, Class 11, CBSC. The link to the playlist is provided in the description box below. So, here we have this uh, lesson number 11. So, in grammar, of course, grammar we'll do separately, though it's present and subjunctive, and most of it we have already done. Still, it will be discussed separately as well. Okay. Anyways, we are directly moving to the text of the chapter. We have this. Um, La Lorraine, the name of the region. We are going to talk about another region of France. La Lorraine. Okay. Let's start reading the text. Sur les collines qui bord la rivière de la Messe. So, in the hills, which borders the river of the Mas, must must be the name of the river, Selev la village de Domremy. Uh, there grows the, or lives the village of the name Domremy. C'est là que Jean d'Arc, la bergère en Savoie, a entendu il y a 500 ans des voix mystérieuses. So it's there that Jean d'Arc, Jean of Arc, okay, uh, a significant historical figure of France, La Bergère, the Cephardus, en Sabon. Sabo, what, as much as I know, like what I have written in the book is wooden shoes. Okay, not very sure whether uh, these Sabo shoes are made of wood or not, but yeah, Sabo. Basically means uh, shoe, but whether those are wooden or not, this is what I'm not sure about. Ah, entendu, heard, it's been 500 years. The mysterious voices. Okay, now let's talk about what those mysterious voices were. Un jour d'été. On a summer day, à midi, during the noon. Dans le jardin de son père, in the garden of her father, to play the ladies, very close, all close to the church, elle voit une vive lumière et entend ces mots. So she saw a bright light and she listened to these words. Jeanne, il faut que tu ailles au secours du roi de France et entend ces mots. Oh sorry, the roi de France et que tu le fasses sacré à Reims. So it says, Jean, it is a must that you go to Sakur. Sakur means here to go to help. Okay. To help the king of France and that you crown him at Rennes. So for the crowning, uh, there was a sort of announcement that Jean d'Arc must go. Jean of Arc must go there. Okay, John Dark. Il a jeune paysan. Paysan, peasant. Peasant, okay. Il a jeune paysan avec quelques soldats. Et ça va. So, and the young peasant left with some soldiers and uh, she fought. Bravement contre l'ennemi. She fought, uh, she struggled bravely against the enemy. Elle est souvent victorieuse. She is often victorious. Elle délivre Orléans assiégé. So she uh, freed uh, the region Orléans, Orleans, 
which was besieged. Besieged is like the army has uh, what bothered the whole region. Okay, so Jean d'Arc freed Orleans from that situation. El Condui, a fait sacré, a Reims, la roi, Charles Septième. So she drove and she crowned to Reims the king Charles the Seventh. Puis, so sont les jours sombres. Then comes, then came the dark days. La prison, la prison de Rouen. The prison of Rouen. La boucher. The bonfire. Où Jean est brûlé devant 10,000 personnes qui pleurent la scène de la patrie. So the bonfire where Jean d'Arc, the Jean of Arc, was burned in front of 10,000 people who weep the faith of the saint of their country. So yes, Jean d'Arc at a very young age, she was born in front of 10,000 people. Though I didn't really read much in history about Jean d'Arc, like we weren't really came across this, uh, we didn't really came across in the school curriculum and though I would love to go in depth of this story, like why such things happened. Okay. So that was what happened to Jean d'Arc. She was born in a bonfire in front of 10,000 people. La Lorraine a été souvent un champ de bataille. Champ de bataille, battlefield. So La Lorraine is often be, has often been a battlefield, surtout au cours de la Première Guerre mondiale. Above all, during the First World War, Guerre Mondiale, First World War, Premier Guerre Mondiale, First World War. Cannon, cannons, fusils, guns, mitrailleurs, machine guns, y ont fait rage, bien des fois. So, these uh, ammunition, weapons, raged there for many times. Sur ce les vous et les balles. Under the shells and the walls, the song. Ball, here like ball, actually means ball, but here I feel it should mean bullet, okay, the bullets. So under the shells and the bullet, the song, S-A-N-G, song is blood. So the song des hommes a coulé, a flow dans ses attaques meurtrières. Meurtrières, hmm. Martria means deadly. Okay, so the under the shells and the bullets, the blood of men flowed freely in these deadly attacks. Et on n'avait pas encore inventé la bombe atomique, ni les fusées. So, and we, one had not invented the atom bomb and the rocket by that time. Ah, si ce million de tués et de blessés pouvaient nous inspirer l'honneur de la guerre, l'amour de la paix. So, ah, if these millions of people died and injured, they inspired us about the horrors of the war and the love for the peace. Right, of course. War is Never a situation, it should be peace always. Hopefully, it should be peace. We have three pictures here a shy dosso, most probably a, a, a tank, army tank. We have your mitrailleurs, a machine gun, M I T R A I double L E U S E, mitrailleurs, and then we have your ambulance, simple ambulance. Okay, so the passage was a little solemn, it was a bit sad, but yeah, this was not just one thing, though like many people lost their lives, we got to learn this only, that 
what is the solution? It is terrifying, it is very harmful, right? So its opposite counterpart is much more better, that is peace, right? Peace is much better. That's great. Uh, how many questions are there? Let me just confirm. Page number 206. Oh, we have done all these questions of 205. That's great. 206, uh, eight questions, fine. Let's start discussing the answers then, okay? Questions and answers. First one, being qu'est-ce que Jean d'Arc a entendu il y a 500 ans? So, what did uh, Jean d'Arc listen and it's been 500 years? What did she listen? Jean d'Arc a entendu des voix Mysterious. It's been 500 years. 500 ans. This much is fine, but you can, of course, extend the answer by writing the exact dialogue in which it was said that, Jean, you must uh, go to uh, this thing. What? Don't you remember the exact dialogue? Wait. Yeah. John, you must go to hell, the king of France, and crown him at Rennes. Right. So you can add this statement. Of course, in French. Question number two. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est elle allée faire à Orléans? Now, as for the text, like the question is, uh, what did, uh, why did she go, what did she do, okay, in all means. So, as much as I understood, like she fought with the enemy, so you can write she went for a war, right. And what she did afterward, she, she uh, delivered, the, she freed the besieged all these, right. So, that's what you need to write here. Elle est allée pour une guerre à Orléans et pour délivrer Orléans à siège. This should be the answer. This should be the answer as per my understanding. Third, and why did she go to France to uh, crown the king Charles the Seventh? Right. Elle est allée à Reims pour sacrer le roi. Charles set. Number four, Où Jean d'Arc a-t-elle été enfermée? So, where was Jean d'Arc imprisoned? She was, she was imprisoned in the prison of Rouen. Right? Prison de Rouen. Yes, la prison de Rouen. John Dark a été enfermé. She was enclosed or imprisoned or enclosed. Uh, both ways it's fine, the translation. Uh, la prison de 
the wall. By the way, in question number two, you can also write like the way it's mentioned in the chapter to fight with the enemy, right? That way is also the answer will be fine. Fifth, Kamo Itan Moth, how did she die? L Ite Brune Dabo is me person she was burned in front of 10,000 people yes correct question number six Kaska Shoda Batai so what's the battlefield Easily the place where battle takes place, that's known as a battlefield. Right. A shawl. The bataille. A l'endroit. Où? La guerre. can be framed better okay if I can think of a better answer I will write that in the uh, description box or in the comment section okay by pinning the comment this can be framed better come up and tell you and get a la can no more than NPA on PA in many so here many means mixed up okay so basically what we are trying to say here is What's the name of the war in which the whole world is involved? Okay, and that's what? World War, right. So, La Guerre Mondiale, the World War, a la guerre, in which a la guerre, le monde entier a mêlé. And now the last question, question number eight. Quel est le contraire de la guerre? The opposite of war is what? Peace, right? Le contraire. De la guerre. Et. La paix. P-A-I-X. Paix. La paix, peace. With this, we are done with the culture day series of your portion of chapter number 11 and we are done with the video also, today's video. So, say to push it, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn from Channel Bar. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn from Channel Bar. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que la langue française est la langue.